It's a new year with new projects, new goals, and new possibilities. So it's time to open up a cargo trailer, pull out an old piece of furniture, and give it a new look and a new life. Let's get started. Be sure to watch to the end for the comment section. Well, it is a new year and it is time for some new furniture flips. This piece has been in storage for a little bit and I am ready to pull it out and get started on it today. I picked this up from a local thrift store for $30. It's a really nice quality piece. Um, made out of wood and I'm not sure exactly what else hard to see until you start working with it um, But it looks like a really nice solid piece. So I'm excited about that It's got a little bit of damage on the veneer. There's some chip veneer on some of the drawers and stuff Let me spill it. Okay, we have to go feed the chickens. One second Okay, let's go feed the chickens I will. That was a little delay. Anyways, <laughs> so I am ready to get started on this piece. I have been pondering for a while what, it, what I'm going to be doing with it. And I want to try a new technique, something I've never done before. I'm thinking about trying to do a dipped look with this, but I'll just have to see what is all under this yucky brown paint and see what can be done with it. So. If you would like to follow along the journey, just keep watching. So this top drawer has this thing on here. I don't know what this is. Um, if any of you know what that would be for, leave a comment down below because I am dying to know what this is. I began with removing all of the drawers, then I pulled out my hand sander. So I just finished up uh, sanding this top of this. It's not the prettiest wood underneath and it's got some deep scratches that has paint still down into it. So I'm gonna have to sand a little bit deeper. I started off with like 150 grit sandpaper because the paint was pretty thin so it came off pretty easily and didn't goop up on there because it's not, not real thick paint. But there's still some, a lot of paint down and like cracks and stuff. So this is gonna need some more sanding to try to get to the more natural wood um, cleaned up a little bit. I think it's got some pretty wood to work with. We'll see how it ends up turning out. Let's keep sanding. I removed all of the hardware and sanded down the drawers. I couldn't get the screws off the cabinet door, so I had Obi help me get them off. I was in the middle of sanding and we lost power, so. <laughs> I've been fiddling around, waiting to get power again, and we still don't have power. Let me show you what I've got done thus far. I have it all sanded for the most part. There's a couple little places, there's a couple little more places I need to get. And then I got my detail sander out that I need to get along these top edges and corners. Other than that, it's pretty much sanded down. I filled in some um, chip veneer places and, um, yeah, it's coming along great. So on the corner of this drawer, the veneer is lifting up a bit. So I'm gonna use some wood glue, get some glue down in there and then I'm gonna clamp it. 
So I have my design figured out now. It took me a little bit. Um, I am going to do a dipped look. Um, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna stain the top yet. I like it, it's really pretty, but it doesn't quite match with the, the base. So I might leave it. I might end up staining it all. I'm not sure yet. I've worked on getting this cabinet door disassembled and thankfully the shutters just came right off. Um, I unscrewed it from the back and they just came right off as one piece. I'm really glad. I didn't know how it was assembled. I was afraid I was gonna have to try to knock them out or something. Um, but I didn't want to break the door. But anyways, that works out perfect and I'm going to be using like little wood dowels that I'm gonna cut and adding them in there. I'm very excited about it. Definitely gonna change the look. So I know some people may not like that I took out the shutters, but I just, I don't like the shutters. I feel like it gave it a certain aesthetics that I wasn't, that I'm not going for. I'm just waiting for power to get restored so I can get back to sanding, but I may be done for the day, unfortunately. I'd like to get a little bit more done, but I might not be able to. So anyway. I had to use a knife to get all the paint off around the trim detailing and then I sanded it by hand. So now it's time to get painting and I'll be using Kills Premium Primer first and I applied one coat of that. Then I grab some paints and I am using Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Moss. After the first coat, I used 400 grit sandpaper and sanded it all smooth. Now it's time to work on the buffet frame. I am using frog tape to tape off that line. And then I grabbed some dark walnut stain and used a rag to apply it. The places that I had filled in didn't take the stain real well, so I used a craft brush and painted on some stain a couple more times. So now it's time to seal it, and I'm using Varthane's polyurethane, and I applied three coats. With that drying, it is now time to start working on the cabinet door. So I'm making these little dowel things using some scrap wood. I'm having to cut the wood in half because it was too thick, um, but it's working out pretty well. And I just have to keep making a bunch more of these. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I have all my dowels cut and I now I'm going to cut out my uh, backer board that's going to go on the back and then I'm going to cut my dowels to fit in between the cabinet door and then I'm going to glue or nail or some somehow attach them to this backer board. So let's get to it. I cut all of the dowel sticks to the same size and then sanded them smooth. Then I primed and painted the cabinet door frame. Okay, so I have this board down and I have the dowels kind of laid out to the, about the spacing. I'm thinking I want a stick spacing in between each one. I'm gonna have to paint each one individually. That's gonna be a pain, but uh, anyways, progress is being made. Using wood glue, I laid out all of the sticks and glued them into place. And my amazing hubby, Obi, helped me by nailing into place. And of course, little Justice had to help as well. Don't worry about the fingers, guys. You don't need them anyway. Can you give me a nail on there? Good job. Thank you. Give me another nail. With that complete, it's time to turn my attention back to the buffet frame. So I removed the tape and moved it up a little bit higher to prevent any paint from leaking. I sealed the tape line with some polyurethane. Then I primed the base. And painted it with two coats of paint. And then I sealed it with polyurethane. And now it's time to remove this tape and see what it looks like. Um, when I pulled off the tape, I was really, really sad to discover that it somehow it discolored the side where it was stained. And I don't know what, if it was the tape. Um, oh wow, there's a mess back there. <laughs> Let me turn this way. <laughs> See what's in my mess. <laughs> so I'm thinking maybe what happened is that sealer just didn't have enough time to cure all the way before I put the other layer of tape on to do this bottom. Um, or it pulled some sealer off. So I am going to try to use some more sealer on it and maybe that will fix it. If not, I'm really sad because it just didn't turn out good. So I'm gonna seal it real quick and we'll see what happens. So resealing it didn't completely remove the discoloration, but it did seem to help a little bit. I'm going to be cleaning this old hardware and painting it. So I put it in some water, added some baking soda and some vinegar, and then I scrubbed everything clean. And now it's time to paint them. Well, unfortunately, the primer I was using um, quit working. <laughs> so I did not get these primed. Um, I really wanted to prime them because these are kind of shiny um, flat surfaces. Because I need to get this project done, I am going to use some sandpaper and scuff sand all the shiny knobs and stuff so then I can go ahead and spray paint it. So, gotta love it when stuff stops working. <laughs> 
So I sprayed them with this metallic gold spray paint And for added protection, I used a clear enamel spray. I put all of the hardware back on, put the drawers back in, and just a quick reminder of what this buffet used to look like. And here it is now. All right, so here it is. I love how this turned out. I know I say that like on every piece, but I was a little worried on how it's gonna look. I've never done a dipped look before. Um, so I was a little like uh, unsure, but it turned out really great. And I am so glad that I decided to remove those shutters from that cabinet door and add the stick detail. I love it. It m makes this piece so much more modern and I love it. And the gold really pops. The green and the wood, it looks awesome. I just, I love this piece. And I'm so glad I was able to find that gorgeous wood underneath the ugly old brown paint. So let's talk numbers real quick. I bought this piece for $30 and I didn't have to buy any hardware or anything. So the only thing I have in it is paint and sealer and primer. So I figured about $10 for that. So a total all in cost of $40 to buy and redo the piece. And I plan on listing this for, I'm thinking about trying 375. We'll see if that gets any attention at that price. So if I did sell for that, that would be a profit of 335. And now it's time for the comment section. So for my first comments, Deborah said, I had to laugh at the line stripping off this ugly old paint. See in a day in the future when someone else would be stripping off that ugly old paint that you applied both believing it would be such a work of art. I'm not sure if that comment's kind of like a snarky comment <laughs> or what. I don't know, not quite sure what to make of that comment. I do realize that some of the furniture I paint may be just trendy right now and is not gonna always be in style, but that is the great thing about furniture. You can remove that paint, repaint it, and give it a new life so that it fits in the current trend. Because what we don't want is to throw away good furniture just because it's outdated. Anyways, not sure what to make of that comment. <laughs> so this comment makes me laugh. Um, Harry said, the only thing worse than painting furniture black is gray. When you began with, I stained it a dark walnut, I thought, good, finally someone who understands that black and gray are fad colors. Then you went and painted it black. Do you know how many pieces of furniture wind up in resale shops? The black color does not wear well. Black is depressing. That's why it's a funeral color. You were right in putting new legs on it. That was a good idea. I do realize how many pieces of furniture wind up in thrift stores because I buy them and I repaint them and I take off ugly old paints. And I'm not sure why the color gray is worse than black. I happen to like both of them. I think black is a rich color. I wouldn't say that it's a funeral color or depressing. It is a rich color. Why do you think the president or the queen rides in black vehicles? Because it's a rich color. It's not a funeral color. I mean, it may be, it may be a funeral color, but it is a rich color. Black's awesome. Anyways. So ZMac DOS 6 Echo says, you know your market, but I thought you could get a more by a couple hundred dollars or a couple hundred. Your work is very good. Again, like I've said so many times, it's definitely just my area. I know I could get a whole lot more if I lived in a more populated area, like in a city, but I'm a very rural area, and most people that buy my furniture are driving an hour, over an hour away from a larger city. So because of my area, I'm not able to get as much as I would like to get or as much as other people would be able to but I'm pricing it for my area. That is all I have for the comment section. If so, if you wanna see one of your comments included in a future video, be sure to leave good comments down below. And I read all of your comments and I really love reading you guys' comments, so be sure to comment. Anyways, that is all I have for this video. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it. If you're not already a subscriber, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys in a later video.